Welcome Algebra 1, this is 7-5, Rational Exponents and Radicals. The essential question is, how can you use rational exponents to represent radicals? Let's begin. So backing up a little bit, what exactly is a radical? And you've seen these before, like radical 16 equals 4. And you, you can say this two ways. You can say this as radical 16 is 4, or you might know the form, the square root of 16 is 4. So either way you say it, it's the same thing. Um, so other square root, square root of 100, in, equals 10. Square root of 25 is 5 times 5 is 25, so it's 5. And square root of x squared would be just x. Now, radical form, we're going to expand on it just beyond the square root. Before we do that, let's talk about some vocab words here. So here's a radical form, and we have two vocab words I want you to know. The index, it's a number that will be outside here by the, the, on the left side of the sign. It's the degree of the root. So for example, 27 to the third root or the fourth root of 81. Now when we did the square root of 16, there's no number out there. But when there's no number, you just assume it's 2. So the square root of 16 is has that 2 there, because 2 is kind of the squared. So that's what that means. We also have this other thing, the radicand. Radicand is what's under the radical sign. So the number or the term that's under that radical sign. All right, simplifying radicals. Well, you know how to simplify a square root, right? You just find the square factors. What does that mean in English? You take 100 is the same thing as 10 squared. So when you want to square root 10 squared, it's just going to come out to that 10. Same thing as 64. 64 is 8 times 8. So square root of 8 squared, that's going to be just 8. So square roots, you've got to find something squared. Now if we did the cube root, that's to the third root right here, we have to find cube factors. So 27 is 3 to the third power, because 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So 27 is 3 to the third power. The cube root of 3 cubed is going to be just 3. Just that base number right there. And similarly for 8. 8 is 2 to the third power, 2 cubed. So the cube root of 8, or 2 cubed, is going to be 2. Uh, next thing for the cube root of 125. 125 is actually 5 to the third power. So that's going to be cube root of 5 cubed, which will be just 5. The numbers we give you for this lesson are going to be integers. Don't expect some crazy decimal. So if you don't know like what 125 is, just start guessing integers and count up and down until you get the one that works out. Uh, equivalence of radicals and rational exponents. So we have two forms. This is exponential form here on the left, a to the power of 1 over n. That is equivalent to the nth root of a. So these two are equivalents, just different ways of writing it. One's an exponential form we talked about last week, the exponentials. And this is radical form. A has to be some real number, so whatever you put under the radical sign, the radicand. And it, N is just some positive integer, so don't we're not going to have some crazy decimal. It's just going to be, you know, probably two, three, four really small ones mostly. So here's some examples of conversions. 16 to the 1 half power is like the square root of 16, or I can write it like this as well. 27 to the 1 third power would be the cube root of 27 which converted to 3, if you remember. y to the 1 third power could be the cube root of y. And 64 to the cube root of 64, let's, well, let's convert it to the exponential form. That's going to be 64 to the 1 third power. Taking that 3 and putting it in a, a rational exponent. All right, more about equivalence. So instead of just always having 1 on top of that fraction, we're going to put m. So a to the m over n power in exponential form is equivalent to the nth root of a to the m power. So I'm basically taking that n and putting it outside and making that the nth root, and leaving a to the m power just as a to the m power. And it's similar to last time. a is a real number. n and m are going to be positive integers. Nothing crazy right now. So converting a to the 8 to the 2 thirds power would be the cube root of 8 squared, because that 2 is on the top. So the 2 is going to be on top right there. And the 3 in the denominator of that exponent is going to go right there for the cube root. Same thing, x to the 2 fifth power. That x is going to be x squared inside, and then it's going to be to the fifth root out here. b to the 4 thirds power would be b to the fourth power, and we're going to take the cube root of that. Now, converting it from radical to exponential, that's going to be 2. Now, to the exponential power, the 8 is going to be on the numerator of the exponent, and the 3 is on the denominator, so 2 to the 8 thirds power. All right, let's try some examples. So I'll pause the video. All right, I want to simplify these. So the fourth root is 16. So, and this is just going to be some integer, right? What it's, 16 is equivalent to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's going to equal 16. So we can write 
the fourth root of 16 is going to be equal to 2 to the fourth power, the fourth root of 2 to the fourth power, which is just going to be just 2. A uh, cube root of 64, I think we've done that a few times, that is going to be 4, because 4 to the third power equals 64. Next one, 36 to the second root, or square root, is going to be just 6. All right, next ones. Pause the video. OK, I want to write these in radical form here. So we've got them in exponential, write in radical. This one's going to be the sixth root of a to the fifth power. This next one here, notice x to the 1 third power and the 5 separate. So this is going to be a 5 on the outside. Don't be tricked by that. It's not 5 to the 1 third power as well. 5 times the cube root of x. This last one, since it's in parentheses, this 2 thirds power is going to be for the 54 and the y. So I can write this as the cube root of, in parentheses, 54y squared. I can leave it just like that. All right, last one. Pause the video. We want to write in exponential form now. So convert to an exponent, that'll be b to the 3 over 5, it's that fifth root. And the next one is going to be 20, and notice this, this 5 is only for the d. So it's going to be 27 to the 1 third power. Actually, I can rewrite that differently. Let's go 27. So there's a few different ways of writing this. Actually, it's going to be 27. I'm going to split that up. 27 to the 1 third power times d to the 5 thirds power. And I can say 27 to the 1 third power. I might have done that a few times. You know that's 3. So we can write that as 3d to the 5 thirds power. Either way works. That's it.